Well, she wants to be America's next top model, but uh, there's a, a hitch on this one. The she actually used to be he, and I think still is. She tells, or he tells, Us Magazine, <laughs> that she identifies herself as a, uh, a woman born physically male. She's told you guys, uh -huh. my cards were dealt differently. Boy, that's an understatement. I got to tell you, she had me fooled when I went to the website. I couldn't pick her out. How about you? A lot of people fooled. And, you know, a lot of these girls, you can't tell what they are. But not exactly like the most high class group of women. Let's just say that. I mean, let's be polite. Oh, man. Uh, now, Isis, and we're looking at her here, uh, him. Ian Drew, editor-at-large, Us Weekly. <laughs> Way to go. I had, I had fun reading about this in, in your magazine. Thanks very much. This time yesterday, we aired a segment about a transgender. The group GLAD, Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, sent us an email saying it was offensive. That was not our intention. We apologize. <laughs> that she identifies herself. Boy, that's an understatement. <laughs> Way to go. I had, I had fun reading about this. Oh, <laughs> my